I'm an employer. I've got an employee. <laughs> her name's Clara, young lass in her early 30s from down in the town there. She jumped on board a few days ago. I'm very glad to have her down working for me on the farm. It has been uh, really quite awesome having her about so far. It's um, She's a daban behind the wheel of a tractor. Really quite skilled using the telehandler, and that was pretty much uh, the entire criteria I needed for a farm hand down here on the farm. Um, it's taken a bit of getting used to, I must admit, because uh, I've been kind of waking up every day thinking with a long list of jobs in my head as to what I've got to do. And then thinking, hang on a minute, no. That's what Clara's for. She'll be here in a bit. And uh, yeah, so I've been able to uh, give her a lump of tasks to crack on with. Essentially, mostly, I'm paying her um, to sit in a tractor cab all day and listen to music and podcasts. There she is. She's been down to the store for me to pick up a chunk of bales for the cows. But yeah, coping very well with the tractors and the jobs so far on the farm. So that's excellent. Really quite uh, happy that she's on board. Hard worker, keen to learn. That's what you need out of a farmhand, isn't it? So far, so good. And uh, she's got a pretty tidy little truck as well, if I must admit. A little Ford 250. It's uh, quite a tidy little thing, if I'm honest. Old school, I think it's from the 70s, I think. But yeah, it's a nice uh, nice thing. Holy heck, I didn't see that before. She's got a gun mounted on the back window. Jesus, remind me to pay her on time, that's for sure. <laughs> but yeah, love an old classic. Bit of a beauty. Yeah, Ford 250. Very nice. Very nice indeed. She's even got a custom plate on it. Clara's 250. I didn't even notice that one either. Goodness me. Anyway, right, so what's going on today? Well, it's April and it's planting time. So we're going to get the uh, get the new big horse working in the field. We're going to uh, start off with the cornfield over there. I'm pretty sure that's going to take me most of today to get done so let's get cracking now i did give this the run through after a, after its first outing in the field very very happy with its performance it is an absolute beast i'm sure i said that multiple times in the last uh, last uh, farm vlog that i made for you all but yeah this thing could drag uh, drag iowa to idaho it's got so much torque it's an absolute monster so we're going to run it with the planter today I need to get it loaded up with a seed I need to get the truck hooked up to the seed tender, in fact, and get the seed tender loaded up from the silo here and get the seed from the uh, tender into the hoppers in this thing. Now, I, give, I did give this thing a check over in the last few days as well, make sure everything is exactly as it should be. And it is. No error codes coming up on the screens in the 715, like I used to experience with the Steiger. So, yeah, it's all good. And again, I'm still gobsmacked. As to the, uh, the sound noise deadening qualities of this cab, it is an absolute weapon. But, let's crack on. We've got many, many hours of planting to do today, but this is where it starts for me, I think. I know we've been earning pretty decent money from the BGA and our manure and slurry work with the cows there. But it's now time to get the crops into the ground, into our massive, massive fields. So, I shall uh, get a few things sorted out here. Get loaded up with seed, make sure Clara's alright. Crack on. Right, Clara's off on slurry tank duties now. Essentially, that's what I'm employing her to do mainly most of the day, is shifting the manure and the slurry out of this car barn into the BG8. And the same from the other big cow stall down the road. Uh, and she's been managing that admirably. Um, and with the occasional odd little bit of a different job there here and there. Nipping off to the store for me like she's done this morning. Going to pick up a few straw bales. Now we've got a few left over here on the trailer. Because this place is now stocked up. The cow stall down the road is completely stocked up. So we've got a few to fall back on here. Um, but yeah. It's a pretty decent job don't you think? Sitting in your tra tractor cab. Listen to tunes and podcasts all day long. And just shift muck around. <laughs> not bad is it but anyway i need to uh, stop nattering i need to play a bit of uh, musical tractors I should get this one shifted out of the way so i can back the truck in here and in fact i think i can just leave this here that should leave me enough room yeah i think that's fine i don't deserve a driving license if i can't get my truck in there and hook up to that 
But yeah, let's crack on. Let's get some seed into the tender. Get into those fields. Right, let's back this thing carefully up. To the tanks here. And get it loaded up. Now, this thing does have a capacity of... 8,000 litres, I think it is. I think it holds... And the hoppers of the uh, planter over there hold just under four, but about just over three and a half, actually. So we should have two full planters worth. In fact, what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll load this up, I'll load up the planter, and then I'll fill this up again. Because I've got no idea exactly how much seed that entire field is going to take. I'm assuming it's going to take quite a lot, considering it's uh, half the size of the whole downtown. So, uh, yeah, I think I better be prepared. But I'm imagining there's going to be a bit of backing and toing today in and out of the field so I think I'll uh, I'll run this over to the field once I've got everything filled up I'll run this over to the field and park it up by the field edge and come back for this and then I can just come back and two to the field edge and fill it up as and when I need so let's get sorted so trying my best not to keep uh, in Clara's way as she comes back in two there we go I think that one's filling up there we go nicely oh there she is I mean, a couple of runs already. She doesn't hang around, does she? So, we'll get this side filled up. Same again on the other side. As I said, I've got not, not done myself any favours with the space I've left for myself, but I think I've got enough. Get this one done on this side. There we go. We'll uh, try and spin around if we can. And get the other side done. There we go. Right. What's my alignment doing? Somewhere about right there, I hope. Nope. <laughs> it does take a bit of getting used to this, I must admit. Probably not doing myself any favours with my camera in my hand. No. Right. Give me a minute. Right, there we go. Got there eventually. Got there eventually. This is awesome. It really is. Being able to concentrate on one job and be able to uh, relieve myself of a few of the other jobs is really quite a great feeling, I must admit. I should have, uh, should have done this whole employing thing much sooner. But hey-ho. Right, let's get those covers closed. Excellent stuff. Right, I suppose I'm in this thing now. I'll run this down to the field. Come back for the truck and the tender. Get cracking. Right. Taking advantage of all the new technological wonderfulness that I have in the cab here. I have uh, got obviously all the field boundaries mapped into it and uh, just set up a course for the 2150 planter here. And the way I've uh, programmed it to work is... See what I mean about the power of this thing. Look at that hill we've just gone up there. It's barely lost a couple of miles an hour at all. What a thing. So, anyway, yeah, I'm going to start the uh, the planting course. I've started it right over at this side of the field so that uh, when we come to finish, we're actually going to finish up right over there next to the lane. So, just make my life a little bit easier, I suppose. Not that it's going to take from the amount of uh, trips I'm going to have to do back and to, but I think so I'm going to park this up here near where I plan on starting. I'll bring the truck to the edge of the field just there by the trees so I've not got too much to, too far to go because I think obviously not knowing exactly how uh, thirsty this field is going to be for the seed I'm assuming I'm going to run out somewhere in here. <laughs> I've planned it out so that the uh, the course is going to uh, we're going to run a couple of rows gap because this is quite a thing it's just under 20 meters wide when it's uh, unfolded so yeah, give ourselves the space to turn around so we don't get tied up in knots. Although with this thing being so much less wide than the big 12-wheel Steiger, it's uh, much easier to turn around in tighter circles. But either way, a nice big uh, course to work in in the field is what we want. So I think I plan on starting somewhere around here. In fact, we'll head up a bit 
towards the edge of the field here because I'm going to run myself two headlands I'm going to start work in the centre of the field finish off on the headlands so I'm not driving over the headlands every time I turn around for the field centres so we shall consider ourselves about here suppose start getting this thing unfolded It is a work of art, this thing, though, when it unfolds. A little bit of theatre. There we go. And you're going to work perfectly for me today, aren't you? <laughs> there we are. Right. So, let's go get the truck. Let's not burn any fuel excessively. So we'll turn this off and out, lock it up. Not that we have a problem with uh, thievery in the area, but... Better to be safe than sorry, eh? So, wow, what a walk I have ahead of me. <laughs> so yeah, I'll go get the truck, leave it up by the side of the field, and get cracking. Right, here will do somewhere nicely, I think. Um, oh, hello. Sorry, love. Don't want to hinder my farm hand now, do I? This is off to the big cow barn now, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think here will do nicely. This won't be in the way for quite a while yet. I'm not going to be on the headlands for many, many hours, so... That'll do. Right. Let's get to it.
what a day beautiful evening clear starry skies couldn't ask for better conditions for drilling but yeah what a job massive massive job it's just turned off past six in the evening so i've literally been at it pretty much all day i did stop for a couple of hours of lunch with all the backing and two in filling up now we have uh, let's talk seed rate for a moment so <laughs> Obviously, I was uh, quite apprehensive and very interested at the same time to know what kind of uh, amount of seed that this field was going to take. Are you ready for it? 25,339 litres of seed, of corn seed, that this uh, field has taken. Now, I do have all the information uh, coded into the tractor there regarding the soil types. Now, this field is predominantly nice, rich, good quality loam. Uh, there is like a, a belt of high... Uh, there's a belt across the centre of the field kind of thing uh, that's got a high high uh, concentrate of sand in there. Uh, so that area does use up more seed than the loam does. Um, but yeah, in total, 25,339 litres. Including the hopper full that we started with up at, the, up at the farm, I've had to refill this seven times. The seventh time I only threw just, uh, just over a 1,000 litres in because it kind of ran out just at the top of that hill up there. Uh, so I only put the bare minimum in, unfortunately, managed to do to get the quantities just right because it's uh, it's empty, just ran out. So I haven't got to muck around with uh, taking any seed out of it or anything, loading it up into any totes. So the next thing to do with this is to uh, make a few alterations to it to get it ready for the beans, uh, which I will get done in the next couple of days. This field is obviously in need of a very, very good rolling. But based on the time today, I think that's going to be the first thing we do tomorrow. So. I think I need to get everything back to the farm. I've just had a phone call from Clara. She's been at it all day long. Busy, busy bee. She's uh, just on her way somewhere over there to go and get the last of the manure out of the big cow stall. So I'm going to get this lot back to the farm. And I need to, I've been meaning to take a quick trip out down the road just to go and check on the grass fields and the oat fields and see how they're doing. I haven't actually uh, cast my eye over those since last month. So uh, we'll go check those out. So let's get this lot back to the farm anyway. Right, all tidied up back at the farm now. Let's uh, go check on these fields. Now, Clara should be... Oh, there she is there. Let's, do you know what? So that we don't have any accidents here. Let's just give her the space she needs. Hopefully that should be the space she needs. As I say, she's a, a dab hand at handling the tractors. She knows the width of them when she's on the road. There we go. Excellent stuff. It's been amazing the amount of work we've just got covered these last couple of weeks since she's been around on the farm, to be honest. It's uh, it's an absolute godsend. I'm uh, very grateful to have her around. So, here's the first grass field. Let's go check and see how healthy this thing's looking. So far, so good from here anyway, from a distance. Let's just pull up. I haven't actually been here since I drilled it, so. Oh, very nice. These blades of grass look... Uh, very healthy. Can't complain at that. Good job well done, if I don't say so myself. Now, at the minute, our earnings are... Uh, they have dipped a bit from the biogas plant because there's, uh, we, we're completely out of silage. Uh, obviously, that's what the grass is for. Silage to create uh, total mix ration in the big mixing machine there that we've got. But also, stick a bit of it in the BGA because we can earn some serious cash from that over time. And I'm hoping the two fields that we've got are at least going to be a good start for us. So, let's get ourselves down the hill here and see how these two fields are doing. Pretty sure they should be pretty healthy. There we go. So, pretty much the same as just now. Grass field looks luscious and healthy. These blades of grass are looking uh, very healthy and nutritious indeed. So, again, good job done. Beautiful evening, eh? And here's the field of oats. Again, looking good. Excellent stuff, yeah. Very proud of this. Now, this is obviously, like I said uh, a couple of videos ago, this is predominantly for the purposes of managing our own quantities of straw. So we'll make a, hopefully make a decent amount of money from the crop when it comes to sell, sell time. But, as I say, the entire purpose of this is to give us our own supply of straw. So, looking good. Very good indeed. 
all looking good at this end of the field as well. From here, anyway. Excellent stuff. Now, the next big field we've got to work in is this one here. This is going to be our field of beans. But I need to uh, I need to get the big roller out in the uh, in the cornfield that we've just uh, worked in today. So that's potentially going to be first thing on the list tomorrow. Now, weather report has given we've got a big patch of rain hanging above us in the area tomorrow over the next couple of days potentially uh, so the weather might hamper our uh, schedules as it were but we shall see I might get a window now I know the uh, the big field we've been in today has taken me several hours to get done and I'm, uh, I can only assume even though the, the, the field that is going to be the soybeans is pretty big as well it's nowhere near as big as the, as the cornfield so it's going to take us less time so hopefully I might have a window of opportunity for a few hours without any rain but we shall see but anyway that's for tomorrow let's just take a crack at uh, the cornfield though lovely stuff done a very good job in here today I'm very proud of it the earnings from this I feel come harvest time are going to be absolutely massive I've never owned a field quite this size I don't think anyone has in the town now and knowing that this is the uh, the biggest one in the town but yeah harvest time is going to be very exciting and plus getting all this loaded into jack's dryer turning it into dried corn and getting an extra premium on top of that the money i feel is going to be absolutely crazy so i think this is us for today we've had a good hard day's work today clara's been uh, very helpful as well we've got she's uh, managed to shift a Mount Rainier-esque size pile of manure from the cow stall there. She told me that both the slurry tanks are empty, both the manure pits are empty, everything from those is in the BGA, so we'll be getting a bit of earnings overnight from that, so that's excellent. Cows are all topped up with food, and I've not had to do a single thing about it. It's brilliant. <laughs> anyway, let's see what tomorrow brings. <laughs> Thank you.